Shalom dear sisters and brothers, how are you doing? The light is strong today and, uh, and life is strong today. I'll show you what's going on in our place a little bit. We are preparing for the holidays of Sukkot. That's a wonderful, wonderful atmosphere. And even though as souls, you know, as precious, as more precious you are, as more difficulties you have, like the Yetzara, the robbers of happiness, the thieves of joy, they are not uh, happy for diamonds to walk around. So if you're a precious soul, so immediately they will uh, try to attack you and to steal your happiness and the treasures that, uh, that are treasured inside of you. So we are precious souls with no doubt and therefore many things are desiring all the time to sabotage and destroy our joy and our happiness. But while building the sukkah and enjoying seeing the teenagers working hard on, the, on listening to their father's will, so while experiencing that, thank God we are um, thinking about the purpose of sukkah and what it means to have a sukkah and what it means all that amazing holy day. So with those thoughts, I suddenly uh, remembered what that is written in the Zohar, that in the sukkah, the shade of the sukkah that we know that is covered by the schach is called in the Zohar Kadosh Tzila de Memnuta, is the shade like the the shade is coming in the holy language of Hebrew out of the word protection. It's like the protected area by the schach that is shading, that is defending um, the person that gets into the sukkah with the shade, the shield of faith, tzila de memnuta, that it's covering, that it's protecting on the believer to have faith. When we're entering to the sukkah, we're entering into that tzila de memnuta, into that place of emuna, and over there a person can breathe and bring in those sparks of faith that are coming in a greater amount into the sukkah than to the outside world during the rest of the days of, of the year. So it's an opportunity to get into the sukkah and to try over there inside the sukkah to look for faith, to look for the light of the Creator that is available and waiting for us to see. My shaky hands are not the best hands to video, but I don't want you to miss those amazing holy animals that are friends with us here in this uh, Florida pond. There is a light of, there is a lot of light um, during those days, and the sukkah is reminding us the clouds of honor that were protecting the nation of Israel while walking in the desert, and reminding us of the whole relationship with the Creator that made sure that we will have all our needs while walking for 40 years in the desert. And all those wonders that took place in the life of our ancestors are being mentioned every year in every holiday by us to remind ourselves that they can take place in our days as well. Not only to remember the greatness of our ancestors, or to remember how, the greatness of the Creator on them in those days, just to remember how in our days, 
in our simple days every single moment every cell of the creation is filled with his godliness and the wonders of his creation is available for us to enjoy from in our life in our days i bless you and i offer you to give us a hand and to walk and march with us into the holy days of sukkot and we're going to share more and going to post more videos hopefully in those days and uh, wonders will take place in our lives in the lives of those who believe that the creator is walking with them and we see that eye to eye that the endless love of the creator is reviving and healing and making the world exist in every aspect and from every angle and to those who follow with faith the light of the creator so that light will shine upon them in a greater way than on others may the light of heaven influence us in a positive way to build our vessels to hold and contain and being able to enjoy his great light and may we all be healed and protected and blessed with his blessing amen